My former boss used to go to uh, Codex uh, CCPR and my abiding memory of him was a briefcase full of the uh, uh, papers that he had to take over to the Netherlands and then an even bigger briefcase coming back with all the CIDs. So that was my first exposure to the uh, Codex process. I, I started my way up, I did residue assessments and then I worked my way through management and with my experience I slowly moved into the CCPR side of things there in, in the early 2000s and have been a member ever since there and I've really enjoyed it. I've also um, actually spent a bit of time at the Codex Committee on Vet Drugs as well. My happiest moments in Codex is the enduring friendships I've made with, with everyone at Codex, at the CCPR. It is like one big family, yes there are some disagreements at times, but everyone gets on and wants to move in the same direction, so friendships is, is really been an important part of this whole area. Well, I think one of my biggest challenges was actually having to present uh, or chair a session at the plenary and I really appreciated the hard work and how much time and effort goes into chairing a, a CCPR or any other Codex Committee meeting. So I was rather nervous about doing that chairing, but it went well, so I'm pleased I did that experience. Codex needs to um, keep up with the, what's happening in the, in the future and uh, do not be left behind. Uh, it's very important they stay aware of what's happening around there and, and adapt as required to keep, keep ahead of things there. I think it's very important they keep on communicating the importance of food safety and fair trade in a whole range of areas. Um, without it, I think the uh, world will be a poorer place from a food safety perspective. The next generation of people, I think, um, is really important to get them involved in the codex process there. Um, otherwise, the disconnect that will occur um, from, for future ge generations. I think there are programs we could do, perhaps at the uh, universities and, and the such like, to get people involved. But again, it's communication and getting it out there to that younger generation is really, really important.